What's up guys? So I wanted to make something sampled and I guess I just labeled it as Ian times two halls. It kind of sounds like it could fit there, but let me know what you guys think if you have better suggestions. But started off, of course, with the sample. This is uh, by Grimes. Again, I don't want to get copyrighted, so we're just play a little snippet of it. Really, really quick. Hopefully that's not <laughs> enough to get copyrighted. And then uh, came right here, dropped it into Serato Sampler. Um, did a bunch of cuts that I found fitting. Of course, I just EQ'd the low ends out of that. But here we are with the chop. And I rendered it all out. Um, this is it with no effects. I wanted to destroy it because I did want to make this like a hard, hard beat. So I added some EFX motions with this pulse glitch. This is my preset bank. I'm gonna leave the description down below where to grab that. Support your boy. So I added some sh some EFX motion and some shaper box. That has added this little lip that blip or whatever you call it but another uh i will be dropping a shaper box three preset bank very soon for absolutely free i have tons of presets from this technique from another producer i forget who i saw this i mean a bunch of people do this but you just get the same exact sample and then you pitch it up so i used little ultra boy to bring it up 12 semitones and then added another EFX motion, another preset by myself. And this is what it sounds like now, pitched up. Just more gritty, you know? And then together, this is what they sound like. I really could have just stopped right there and just that, that was it for the entire melody, but I want to add a few little counter things. Uh, Serum 2 added this. Some rhythm. And one more Serum 2. And then added an ARP. And then one more little counter melody. I did add some texture. So here's this little texture right here. I'll show you guys how I process it. So this is without the processing. I, did, I think it was like a machine texture in from Splice. Added a beam. And then just a EQ to filter it, really. Then all together, the melody sounds like this. Then for the drums. I added a riff right here to my hi-hats. Another one of my preset banks that you could grab right now. Added, this is the clap. And I wanted to just add something different. So they're all in the same key and then I dropped the one just like a half down. So clap and then here's the snare. Not a crazy snare roll, but a snare roll, another less, and then this is the actual snare roll. Then of course, here's the bass. I, I ended up putting the bass and uh, the 808 together, overlapping. Then make sure to just add spaces like right here like in between just so it gets a little bit more bounce and same thing with the velocity this is what the percussion sound like and 
Oh, and then I just added a snare and an open hat on the second part to add more energy. You gotta add a chant, dude. Anything with Ian, you gotta add a chant, so. And then right as we enter the beat, the first part of the beat, we're going to, of course, have our little reverse Vox. I thought it sounded cool. I also threw a shaper box on it. It's got some like time modulation, some liquid. Just wanted it to be a little bit more glitchy. And then of course I added, uh, well, this is mine from, from my newest kit, but um, hasn't released yet, but a little crash effect, so. I just, glass with some, you know, with a classic riser. One thing I wanted to notice is if you could see, I mean, do you listen to any like super modern production? Like, the, you know, the Ian's, the Ken Carson's, the, all those like ultra modern rappers now. There's tons of stopping. So I always try to stop with some hi-hats because most of the time these are like 16 notes. So stop with, stop, add some gaps right here. Same thing in your melody. As you guys can see in the beginning of this beat, I cut right there. And you're gonna see how I cut right here in this, in this uh, bridge right here. So let me start this bridge. You guys want more energy sometimes it's important to peel back some of these layers like i said i cut off some of those vocals i chopped the hi-hats and the melody really stopped right there to allow the anticipation for the verse once again that's pretty much going to be it let me play this now from the beginning hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you guys have any other suggestions but the only thing i really added uh, was well, just my tag right here again all the kits are in description down below